This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I'm curious why New York's not on your list. I hate New York. <laughs> try, you don't believe it. By God, try renting a car at Newark and set your GPS on the garden. Try driving down there and rent a car where you have four lanes, supposedly, of traffic heading one way, but you got eight cars side by side in those four lanes, being cab drivers, and they're just about sideswiping you. They're cutting you off. They're stopping right in front of you. They're almost running up your ass. It's traumatic. Driving in New York City, Manhattan, anybody that doesn't say so is a liar. That's why people take cabs and car services. I'm just a dumbass that usually rented a car. And it is one of the most frightening things in the world if you've never done it. You ever drove in Manhattan? No, of course not. Of course not. Well, I don't have a helicopter pad. Oh, Jesus. No, listen, I'm using Uber like everybody else. But before that, yeah, it was Taxi Cab Jones. But I have heard forever that it is a nightmare to get well, in and out of uh, of Madison Square Garden. And I'll tell you this, it's not exactly easy to use that stupid car elevator that the boys use in Barclays. I mean, that's some serious security there and at Staples. Wouldn't you agree? Oh God. Yeah. I mean, it's terrible. And then if you're on last now, you got to walk across the street. Now this is the garden and you're on the same parking deck that the fans that drove right. are park are parked. So you're about three levels down. Now, if the show's over, you got to walk over, go pay for your parking Go down three levels, walk in with all the fans, get in the car. And then as you start driving up against the tide, up those three levels, the fans are all walking down. Now, if you're a hill with heat, your car becomes an attack point and they're banging and they're kicking. All stuff's going to have to be reported to the rent-a-car company. If you don't have the LDW, guess who's paying for it? Right. You are. Now, if you back up and driving to the garden, let's just say a cab sideswipes you that is clearly halfway in your lane. You pull over, call a cop. They never come. And if they do come, it's two hours later and they don't even file a report. They just go, hey, man, you're in New York. So you're screwed. Cab drivers don't give a shit if they wreck their cars. They don't belong to them. It's just, yeah. All those New York, you know, like you said, Brooklyn, getting in that place, it's brutal. There's no parking deck within three blocks of there. So if you take a cab, you you know, it's just not my cup of tea, the Northeast. I, I am curious, you know, if you've heard the story, because I think, I think this came out a couple of years ago that after John Cena beat Big Show at WrestleMania 20 to win the U S title in Madison square garden. He's in that same parking garage. He has a walk across the street with fans, the new U S champion and just sit in traffic, trying to leave the building like everybody else. That that to me is a crazy visual. Now I get that some of our listeners think, well, what's the big deal, but take me back to like eight year old Conrad and the idea that Hulk Hogan's in his Dodge Stratus rent a car waiting to leave WrestleMania. I mean, my dad are walking past him. That's like a, wait a minute. What now type of moment? Well, you notice as soon as John started making, once it was decided he was the guy and they were going to go with him when he started making, I would suggest that first big year that he had and he got his mom a house or whatever he did. And I bet it wasn't too much longer when he got that bus because that's the game changer. When you got a bus, you're exempt from any issues as far as travel in this business. And uh, the bus got to pull underneath the garden. They got to just sit there and eat a meal, take a shower, wait for the place to clear out. And then they just went up the ramp right into no traffic an hour later and just pull on out and head to the next town. A lot of the guys followed suit, Randy, Big Show, Ray, a lot of them had you know, buses, but yeah, to get in a rent a car and that parking deck and be, you know, because once you get to the top of the ramp, 
it's still bumper to bumper all around the garden. So you, you got people walking down the middle of the street, banging on your car, wanting to talk to you, wanting you to sign stuff, which I get it. You're not going anywhere, but can you imagine if you rolled that window down and signed one? Oh God, it's over. Everybody else that was standing around there with something to sign would be feeling like they were shit on. Absolutely. So you can't just sign one and that's it or two. If you got to sign one, you better be prepared to put it in part and get out and sign them all. And if you got 15 people around you, that's not going to fly in New York traffic. So, you know, people that haven't experienced it, people that live up there, I get it. They somehow get used to it. They cab it everywhere. Nobody owns cars. They don't have anywhere to park them. If they did, if they, if they could afford it. So it's like, I get it if you live there and that's your way of life. But for a Southern boy who's used to interstate traffic and easy owns and offs, man, it's traumatic up there. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.